Hello my friends! Well, it's time. I promised you a new updated tour of my van. So, let's get to it. So, this is my van. It is a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan. And just the right size for me. First thing you see when you get to my van are my beautiful curtains that I made this summer by using old sari fabrics and uh, upholstery tacks. And I, I made a video of that if you're interested in seeing how that worked. I like to open them up when I go some places so I have a little bit of privacy but can still get some fresh air. Once you go inside, you will see my bed, which is covered in color. As if you are following me, you know that I love color. I found this amazing table at the thrift store for about $4. My fish bag I got for 99 cents, I think, and it holds all of my cords. I found this cute frame and I got a couple posters which kind of say how I feel under here. It's just a regular old wooden box that I painted and I keep my toothbrush and my vitamins and my daily medications in there. Um, under here I have books. I have a collection of little purses that I like to switch out once in a while. Um, also have this cute little bag that I found that I keep my art supplies in. And then under here I have a basket with my shoes, sandals, extra socks, and that hides under here. Because of the rug it doesn't slide around when I'm driving. I have some books and then my reusable grocery bags. I have this game here called We're Not Really Strangers that I hope to play with some strangers to get to know people. So that's my bedside table. I usually leave my keys up here and my phone next to me while it's charging at night. I tied my table to my passenger seat so that it doesn't flop around when I'm driving. Under my bed is mostly clothes, but also my bathroom. So this is my bathroom. Um, I have uh, various things in different little baggies from, uh, let's see, this is, you make the world a better place, deodorant, yes, I, I thought that was the perfect bag for that. There's um, random toiletries in here, I've got some uh, vitamins, this is my kind of Thick cold medicine bag. Um, I have this one here has some COVID tests and my thermometers just in case and um, just various toiletries. I don't really like clutter so I have a habit of putting everything in little bags. <laughs> and it just slides right under there. Oh and this is my bathroom. That's my toilet. I got a little jar that I can tinkle in in the middle of the night if I need to. And then it just goes in here. Goes back in here. And out of sight. And that is my bathroom. This is my kitchen. Um, it's stored in a little ottoman that I found that holds my plates, my forks, my little appliances, and then it also flips over so I have a place to make my food, um, chop up some vegetables or fruits, um, and yeah, it's a nice little table. I just hide it. I have lots of pillows. Um, 
just some cute little round pillows and make myself comfortable. Over here, I covered my seat belts with fabric because I didn't like the look of them, and then I just added some pictures of the people I love. And a couple of posters. And then we get to Diego. Diego is my travel companion. He doesn't talk much, but he does like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, so there's that. I have my fish lamp with a... You can't really see it right now. There we go. It lights up in the dark. It gives me a little ambient light. I have my thermometer. Numerous little paper cranes my child made me. A nice little journal. Um, and some lotion. And then I have my cords for my fairy lights, which are on my tapestry. And there's a video for that if you're interested in seeing how I got that up there. I have an extra blanket for my feet if I want. Here is my towel for showering. I kind of just kind of keep my laptop down here when I'm driving. Um, and let's move around the back. I'll get to this stuff in a moment. Oh wait, on this side I have um, more photos. Um, this cute little uh, embroidered thing my grandma made me before she passed away. I have this nice little poster that I found that I decided that I needed in my van. I have this laser cut shelf that I made. It says, follow your dreams, they know the way. And uh, sometimes I just uh, sit and stare at those. I got a couple of these collapsible garbage cans that are meant for car travel, but I am using it to hold all of my hats. Oh yes, meet Matador, who I picked up on my travels in St. Augustine, Florida. And he apparently has eyes for Diego because all he ever does is stare at Diego. And um, I don't blame him. On this side with uh, Diego, I have my bin full of gloves, hand warmers, um, things to keep me warm. Let's see, what else? In this bin, I have my laptop table. I have a couple of blankets, some towels. I have my work table, which I will make a video of soon. I have my Hot Logic, a battery powered vest, um, an electric water bottle that comes in handy when you're cold. Um, some sheets, and I think under that are my boots. So, this is mostly just a catch-all bin. So yeah, that's it for this half. I'm gonna go around the outside and show you what's back there. So, in the back here, I have three suitcases. This holds my bras and underwear and socks. This is cold weather clothes. This is warm weather clothes. Under my bed, I have a variety of different outfits that I brought along for going out or if I want to get dressed up fancy and go to a show or something. So those won't be worn very often, but I wanted to bring them just because I like to dress up sometimes. These are my practical clothes for travel and camping. These are if I get a little chilly and these go underneath all of that. Um, this actually is my cooler. I didn't like how the cooler looked. I got this beautiful little towel from one of my special amazing friends back home and I use it to cover this um, collapsible box basically. So under here is my cooler and my containers and various foods and it keeps it out of sight and looking a little nicer. And then 
I just cover it up and and it's pretty again. Underneath my bed and behind the cooler lives my bathroom for my toiletries that I take to the gym when I'm showering. So it's got all my shampoos and everything in there. I can throw my towel in there and everything's ready to go. Underneath all of this is my storage where I have my Jackery um, solar panel, my tent, some exercise equipment, various shoes, um, tools, things like that that I don't need every day but might need and want. I have my favorite piece in my entire van, which is a table that I made with my uncle Rocky. Um, we just took a piece of wood and cut it. I could take it in and out if I want because it just butts up against the edges here. And it's nice and sturdy. In the little basket by my bed, I have a headlamp and a little flashlight. Down here, I have my Blue Eddy 600 watt backup battery, and while I'm driving, I charge it back here. Um, I have my window covers here. Um, underneath here, I have more clothes and um, paper towels and things like that. So, this table holds my window covers perfectly and I like to put my Blue Eddy back here to charge because um, generally it's not going to scoot around too far. Um, yeah, so there's that. Up front are my beautiful car seat covers that I absolutely love. I have a nice uh, grippy uh, steering wheel cover. Um, let's see, inside here I have something that I think everyone should have in their vehicle at all times is one of these. This is a seat belt cutter and this will break your windows um, if you get in an accident and you are trapped in your vehicle because your seat belt won't unbuckle you cut it and if you can't get out through the door and you need to break your window you can get out or if you end up somehow in water you need to be able to get out. So make sure you get something like this to keep in your van. I have mine wrapped around a few times on my passenger thing because for a long time I had it um, in my glove box, but if I am strapped in and I can't reach my glove box, then what? It's in there and it's not saving my life. So here I should be able to reach it and it just lives down there. Down here I have a small backup battery power pack that I just keep plugged in all the time while I'm driving that charges my phone and my battery packs and then I'm not just always using the cigarette lighter and a water bottle. Now over here I have this cool little um, car organizer. I only have it expanded for two because I didn't need the third spot but it will go bigger. Um, this just holds like my my curtain that I put across here at night, um, has some chips, some tissues, my uh, sunglasses, some sunblock, toilet paper, throat lozenges, you know, hair stuff, whatever I might want to be able to reach. Um, this is kind of my pantry. This came with a um, little lunchbox kind of thing in here. So I just keep my snacks and things that, like my bread, that I don't want to put in my cooler. Um, I keep those in here and snacks that I might want while I'm driving. I also really like, when I see homeless people on the side of the road, I like to be able to give them something. So I just keep stocked up on granola bars and fruit bars and things like that. So I can hand them a couple while I'm passing by them and I feel like I have helped somebody for the day. Um, I don't tend to give money, but there's no reason I can't 
give them something to eat. So I kind of keep this stocked for myself, but also for random strangers who might need a little help. And down here is my um, extra coat bin. I have all kinds of coats for different kind of weather, um, and I just like to mix it up. I have a garbage can. Um, this holds extra water or um, ice, depending on the weather. I have my little broom and dustpan. I have some car cleaner things. <clears throat> and under here, under here, I have something that I also think you all should be getting for yourselves. Which are safety flares. These are amazing. They um, are little LED flares that stick to your van and will alert people if you are broken down. Um, there's three of them in the pack and there's different modes. And uh, keep them where you can reach them. So in my glove box I have some gum, some change for parking meters if I need it. I have an emergency whistle for if I go wandering on a hike, and a compass in case my phone dies. Um, some eyeglass cleaner, some masks back here, a first aid kit, which everybody should have. La 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 la, get this in your van, you might need it, or you might come upon a car accident or somebody who's been injured and you will be able to help them. Yay! I learned the hard way that it is very important to carry an extra set of eyeglasses with you in case yours break, even if they are old and it's not your normal prescription anymore. At least you'll be able to see for a while until you can get your glasses fixed. Ask me how I know. Hmm. And then down here in my other little glove box, I have the usual stuff, registration, um, some notebooks if I need. I have some stamps and uh, postcards and things like that. Um, some of my old photographs that I'll probably decorate my van with at some point. And the car manual and that's about it. Nothing exciting. Sorry. I also have another coat under there. If you haven't guessed, I am addicted to coats. Under here, I keep my uh, jumper cables and some bungee cords. Um, these cables will plug into my jackery and save me from being stranded. In the side door, we have a fire extinguisher. Make sure you have one of those. This is my windshield cover, um, my shower shoes, and um, I think that's it. Well, my friends, that's it. That's my van. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tour, and uh, maybe it inspired you for some of your own ideas. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. Stay happy and healthy and safe, and um, thanks for following along and subscribing. <sighs> Until next time, you know what time it is. Stay weird, friends.